Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's mom life, get it all done with me video. Lots of little things for getting ready for the weekend, lots of things to do. I've got to cook dinner, I need to get some cleaning done. So a little bit of everything. I have an Amazon haul for Bella here as well as I got some things at Target and stuff from some footage that I shot earlier. So I'm just gonna include that now so you guys can get all caught back up and then we will jump into doing all the things together. Let's go. What do you got? I <laughs> okay. You know what my favorite color is. Purple. It is purple, you're Mommy, right. Mommy, did you apple slices purple? Yeah, I'm going to get some apple slices. Hold on. Mommy, did you got apple slices purple? Yeah, this is for the apple slices. Yeah, I have to use a knife to cut them. Yay, mommy, go! Yay, mommy, look cut it! Thank you. I did cut it. You okay. did it, mommy. You did it. Did I do it? All right. So this is just one little thing that I like to do while I'm starting to like prep dinner. It's because she usually gets up from her nap between three and four and so she wants a snack and so while i'm starting dinner she can have like a little kids charcuterie board sometimes if we have cheese i'll put some cheese out whatever and she can just snack i can snack we can all snack and nobody's hangry while dinner is being prepared Thank you guys again for joining me for this mom life get it all done with me video if you're enjoying it so far go ahead and tap that like button down below it really helps to support the channel but i'm just on to making dinner and this particular evening i wanted to make some kung pao spaghetti i had been getting this while i was pregnant with bella at the california pizza kitchen and figured out how to make it at home and it is really easy and really delicious so i will have the recipe linked in the description box for those of you that want to check it out i I am though making a teriyaki that way for those that don't like spicy they've got a little something to eat too About you guys but i am always looking for quick and easy dinners that get the family fed and are tasty but just not a lot of fuss that i can whip them up like maybe 30 minutes or less and so if you guys have any recipes like that definitely leave me a comment with those or if they're like found on a website or a blog somewhere then go ahead and link those as well because i am all for like trying new recipes and especially fast recipes that get the family fed in a jiffy that way we're not fussing over dinner and it's not a big to do we can eat and get on with our evenings because i am just in this mode of like i would much rather be doing other things than standing in my kitchen cooking so yeah all that to say share the recipes all that you have let me know down in the comment section and i am so excited to see what you guys say because you guys always have like the best tips and recipe suggestions and all the things so i cannot wait to hear what my fam has to say I love, I love, I love, I love. 
My daughter Lucy is in a huge Little Einstein's kick and we watch the two seasons that are on Disney Plus all the time on repeat. So that is what that song was from. But I wanted to share this. I got this meat thermometer because I would always like either overcook our chicken or it would be undercooked. And so that was not fun. But since I've gotten that, everything has been coming out perfectly and tasting so, so much better. So if you do not have a meat thermometer, I will have one linked in the description box for you guys to check out. But it is amazing. And then this is the final product of my Kung Pao spaghetti and loose teriyaki spaghetti and then I just have the spring rolls and egg rolls from Costco and they are delicious and awesome when you cook them in the air fryer so that is dinner there you go so as promised, here is the mini haul-ish portion of the video. So I'm gonna start off with the stuff I got at Target today. And a few of the things you actually saw me put in the shopping cart in the clips earlier, but I snagged these cute little heart wreaths. They were $5 in the Target dollar spot, which I didn't think was bad. And I wanna put them, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but I wanna put them up here. And so, you can see how I do all of my spring decorating because I'm actually going to be filming that tomorrow. But I think that video is going up before this one. So if it's up, I will have it linked in the description box. If not, I will have the release date in the description box of when the video will go live. Either way, I wanted to get these because I thought they looked a little more springy and I don't know, with the colors, it just reminded me of spring, but even though they're hearts, I feel like they'll have a little bit more longevity than just getting something that's just a heart shaped you know what i mean i hope that makes sense and then also of course i had to get these the jasmine and cinderella little duckies i think these are so cute we are like trying to collect all that we can find unfortunately i wasn't able to get the christmas ones that they had um over the holidays they had sold out before i had got to a chance to go to my target again and grab some so I don't know, had to miss out on those, but these are so cute. So if you like princesses, you need to go to the Target dollar spot and see if they have those duckies because they're adorable. And then I don't think I have any footage of these, but I feel like such a cool mom now. These are an awesome pair. Like everybody talks about the golden goose dupes. It was so exciting because they had two pairs, a six and a half and a seven and a half, and I wear seven and a half. So these of course came home with me. So I will have them linked in the description box if they're still available online, but they are so, so cute. The sparkle, like, it's just adorable. And when I tried them on, they are so cushy and comfortable. It's insane. Like, I can't wait to wear these shoes. So yeah, if you're into this sort of thing, check them out in the description box below. Under $30, so can't beat that. And then we made a little Dollar Tree run, and I was hoping to find like some spring organizational type project items, but they didn't have anything at the one that we went to. So maybe I can go to another one like tomorrow or something because I would really like to find some things, but I did grab these for working on with Lucy. They were obviously a dollar a piece. Well, I think the Dollar Tree is going to a dollar 50, but right now it's still a dollar. So I got these for a dollar a piece. And so one is numbers and then one is words. So I can work on those with her and do a little preschool learning stuff. And then for my smaller diaper bag that I like to carry, I got some just wipes. They have these for a dollar a pack and they're a little bit smaller, but they're not like the pack of wipes that has like eight in them or something crazy that you really go through like with one diaper change. So these are awesome and great to have on hand. And then I am so excited. We are actually starting food with Bella tomorrow. And so I'm really, really excited about that. I cannot believe she is six months old, you guys. If you've been around since before I had her, it's like so many of you are even, when I posted on Instagram that she was six months old, we're like, how? I was just nesting with you. Weren't you just pregnant? Didn't you just have her? And I'm like, same. That's exactly what I think. Let's see, what is this? Bad. like when you order do you guys order things from Amazon and then you it comes in and you're like wait when did I order that? <laughs> what is this windshield wipers I'm not gonna open that that's not fun I did get this though because this is supposed to be really helpful for baby limb weaning 
and even just like if you want to allow your toddler to cut and chop things with you like bananas avocados anything that they can easily slice through but it's not like I wouldn't have them chopping potatoes because that's really hard and this wouldn't work on it but it is a little serrated knife or not serrated mm, crinkle knife that's what it is crinkle knife and so you can use that for chopping things and from the research that i've done on baby led weaning when you use a crinkle knife it gives it a little bit of ridges and so it's easier for the baby to hold on to like the strips of avocado or just any other thing that you cut into strips it gives it a little more grip so they can hold on to it easier For these few little things like couldn't this come in a smaller box <laughs> okay so for baby led weaning i got this book i am so excited we did baby led weaning with lucy which is my now almost two and a half year old and we loved it but we just used like information on the internet and free resources and so i wanted to invest a little bit more into stuff um and this book came highly recommended from a lot of moms that i'm friends with that they've also done baby led weaning and like learning portion sizes and how things should look and so like how you should cut things and how you should cook it and like all that kind of stuff for basically everything like if you're wanting to make sweet potatoes or potato or tomatoes or broccoli or red peppers or beef like whatever it's got all kinds of portion sizes and how you should cut it for them so it's safe and they're not like getting choked or anything like that so this is a really cool book. I will have everything I can linked in the description box below. If you have a baby that's going into baby lead weaning or you just wanna check it out because you don't know anything about it, that's a great book. It was under $10, I believe. So not expensive at all and really, really awesome. And then I got these little baby spoons. And so basically you can preload these, like if you're doing even purees or something, it just really, a feeding therapist actually recommended these and she's like if you really want to get their tongue going and it like gets in all the grooves and everything so it's, it's supposed to be like really really good i'm no professional i'm just a mom that likes cool baby gadgets so i got these to try and i think they'll be really small and so they'll be good for bella to hold on to so i'm excited to try these with her oh i'm so excited for these so the girls are going to a princess birthday party um in a couple of weeks and so believe it or not they didn't have princess dresses i know hard to believe coming from yours truly but i ordered these because moana is lucy's favorite princess right now and is this not the cutest i love it so much like she's gonna be so adorable i'll just have to figure out what kind of shoes because it is gonna be february and we're in tennessee so it's like it's cold <laughs> like it's not we're not in Florida, um, so she couldn't just run around barefooted, true Moana style. But it also, it also came with a heart of Tafiti necklace. Hold on. It's a beauty vlog this so you can see. Oh my gosh, come on camera, focus. Okay, there we go. It's a little like heart of Tafiti necklace. I kind of got the color wrong, but that's just, I guess that's what happens when you buy a $20 costume. <laughs> on Amazon but that's okay it's super cute anyway and this little flower clip for her hair so that'll be super cute and then of course Miss Bella had to have a costume too and to go along with her name because we call her Belle all the time you'll never guess who we got Belle <laughs> Well, she look adorable in this like I'm so excited to see her and her chubby little baby legs hanging out of this thing It's gonna be so so cute, but it also came with a headband It's a little floral headband. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the skinny ones. So we may do something else for her as a bow, but Yeah, that is absolutely adorable and I cannot wait for her to wear it. I also have this gigantic box from Amazon but it is just windshield wipers so I'm not gonna bore you guys with that um but yeah that is the haul portion so this kitchen is a mess so let's get it cleaned back up so when I come down in the morning I am happily I am happily greeted by a clean kitchen because I've learned it is a favorite thing of mine
chance to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so On. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Dean decided to make us cookies and he gets them out of the oven and he's doing nothing but laughing. I don't know if I should be excited or terrified. I just must say, I, I tried. You I did? just tried. I tried so hard to make this special. Did you? Yes. Okay. Some, some might be burnt. <laughs> some might be completely uncooked. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. I mean, I can see what you're going. <laughs> let, let me show you guys. I mean, I, I see Mickey in that. Because there's a Mickey there. It's a Mickey, and then these are, I think, they're, yeah, they're still not. Yeah. Just, what, what were those supposed to be? Just like. Extra little ones. Little itty bitty baby ones? Yeah, for when you were like, okay, I've ate my cookie, but I want a little bit more cookie. This one's burning my fingers, but I want to know what it tastes like. Um. Oh, bar! All right, you guys, I have dishes to finish. I've got to finish these bottles, so I'm going to do that. And I think that's going to be the last clip that I filmed for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the little, like, all the YouTube stuff here. So if you enjoyed the video and got cleaning motivation out of it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you're new here and haven't joined our cleaning fam, what's don't... wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, go ahead, do it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. We love you. You can just rectify the situation now. Go on down, hit the red subscribe button, join the internet fam. We would love to have you and see you back in future videos. But I'm going to clean some bottles and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.